Nvidia is said to have great Windows display drivers, at least when it comes to gaming, but what about Linux drivers? Are Nvidia's Linux drivers on par with the ones on Windows? Stick around if you want to find out. Also, consider subscribing to the channel to help it grow as most of the people watching, that's around 99%, are not subscribed. This way you will help the channel gain more recognition on YouTube. For testing, I'm going to use the Nobara 39 Distro, this one is based on Fedora, and more precisely, the ISO made for Nvidia cards. If you're interested to know the system configuration and the drivers used for testing, please check in the description of the video. I'm using the latest drivers available at the time of the recording for both Windows 11 and Linux. As I don't have or know of an alternative for MSI Afterburner in Linux, I'm gonna use games that have an internal benchmark. Before each side-by-side -side run, I will show the game settings that are used on both operating systems. In the games where I show RT on and off, the only change in the settings will be disabling the RT effects, all other settings will be the same. After the side-by-side -side run section, I will add all results in the chart and talk about the gaming performance difference between these two operating systems. So, let's begin. I want to be burned to ashes scattered on the street with the rest of my family.
as someone suggested in the comments. I added it in the chart the minimum values on the same bar as the average ones. I don't have any minimum values for Borderlands 3 as the internal benchmark doesn't display that info. As it can be seen, at least in the games that I tested, Linux trails big time windows when using Nvidia cards. The only game where the performance difference was small was Total War Pharaoh, where the 4080 Super averaged a bit more than 10% less on Linux and the minimum value were quite close. The same can be said about Dying Light 2 when using ray tracing, but the minimum values are atrocious on Linux. Feel free to pause the video if you want to have a better look at the results. Averaging the FPS from all the games tested, we see that Nobara 39 and Nvidia manage almost 91 FPS, while Windows 11 and Nvidia manage 117.68. The performance drop is close to 30% when gaming on Linux compared to Windows by using a 4080 Super, so have that in mind. To summarize, Nvidia's display drivers for Linux are not on par with the ones for Windows. If you want to consider Linux for gaming, you have to understand that you will lose a lot of performance compared to Microsoft's operating system. Don't get me wrong, it's not like games will be unplayable, so you could give Linux a shot if you are bored of Windows. A better alternative will be an AMD card. If you are interested, check the video linked in the top right corner. The 7900 XTX managed to perform better in a few non-RT games than on Windows, so this means that Nvidia needs to step up and improve their drivers for Linux. Until then, if you are dead set in making Linux your operating choice for gaming, I think that the AMD cards are a better buy. If you liked the video and found it helpful, hit the like button, drop a comment below and subscribe to the channel. Take care and hope to see you all in the next one.